Racing to the 2020 Breeders' Cup, and this time we go north to Woodbine for the Grade 1 Woodbine Mile. Let's start off with this eight-pack here, led by the one horse, March to the Arch, one of three horses for Mark Cassie, March to the Arch, a turf veteran, picked up a nice win earlier this year, does his best running in Florida. We'll see what he can do up here. Did draw well, and I do like his closing style in this group. Armistice Day, the cleverly named son of Declaration of War. Best trip, probably to sit back, make one run late, hopefully getting to the outside of the other speed. Take a look at the lightly raced Cheryl Spite. Uh, two for two, two wins, a maiden win, blew him away on the poly track, then came out and came back with another victory. Was thinking about running in the Preakness Stakes, was gonna maybe run in the uh, Kentucky Derby, but is pointing here instead for the Wood by mile going to take on older horses for Cheryl Spate eight to one on the morning line. Starship Jubilee, the seven-year-old mayor, a lifetime veteran, a lot of grade two wins on her resume, going to step up against the boys and try to win a grade one up in Canada. She's in good form right now and her speed figures put her in the mix if a horse like War of Will and Value Proposition don't run their top race. Definitely a top three contender in Starship Jubilee. Olympic runner, kind of a long shot in this spot, does his best running coming from off the pace. Not sure there was really too many other spots for Olympic runners, so they just decided to put him here in this grade one race. Fits with a lot of the also contenders, but not really a top contender among the top three. Admiral T. Pierce, another one who got it done at Tampa Bay, a long shot that day, 21 to one, beat some good horses, kind of an in and outer, gonna look to get back on the beam here in the Woodbine Mile. 15 to one, probably fair odds on value proposition, is a Chad Brown trained runner and value proposition, a nice win two back. Uh, then kind of last time out, had a little bit of a block down the lane. There was kind of a cavalry of horses. I think he's capable of running better than that. And off the bench here going north. Now, Chad Brown has struggled the last couple of years up in Canada in some of these stakes races. I think this is one of his better chances. Uh, last week, he disappointed with a couple of well-meant horses north of the border. Let's see if he can turn it around with value proposition. And rounding out the field is War of Will, the grade one Preakness winner last year. Multiple surface. Uh, stakes winner got it done uh, on the turf and on the dirt and I think you know his fourth place finish out west was actually a better than looked effort it was up contesting some strong fractions continues to train forwardly will be interesting to see if war of will stays on the turf or goes back to the dirt possibly for the Breeders' Cup Classic. War of Will gonna be the favorite. Value proposition is gonna be my selection. I think he works out a good trip. I think he's the best closer. Remember, it's a long stretch run in the Woodbine Mile, and I like horses that can kind of save some ground, and I like the fact that he's been able to run in between horses down the stretch for value proposition. Who do you like in the Woodbine Mile? Leave a comment below, share this video with all your horse racing friends, and remember, hit subscribe as as we lead you up to the 2020 Breeders' Cup.